Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We have a hadith that has been collected on the authority of Imam at Tirmidhi in his Jami' Rahimahullah. May Allah have mercy on him. In which it is reported by the illustrious companion Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu wa ardahu. May Allah be pleased with him. In which he said that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah Azza wa Jal has said, for those of you who are students of knowledge, you would know that when the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam speaks and says that Allah says, then this is hadith Qudsi. It is a sacred hadith because it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking outside of the context of the Quran. What is it that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Inna Allah yaqulu, certainly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ana inda dhanni abdi fi, I am as my servant thinks of me. Wa ana ma'ahu idha da'ani, and I am with him when he calls upon me. Look at this beautiful hadith showing us the relationship that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has with his servants. Allah tells us in this hadith that he will treat us in the manner in which we think of him. If we believe that we are worshipping a Lord who is Al-Ghaffar, the most forgiving, Al-Rahman, the most merciful, Al-Kareem, the most generous, Al-Wadud, the most loving, then certainly we will find that Allah's relationship with us will be one full of forgiveness, full of mercy, full of generosity, and full of love. However, if we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a God that is harsh and that is quick to punish and that is cruel, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us think good thoughts of him. But if we entertain such ideas, then certainly we will already develop a relationship with Allah that is based upon this. It is very important, my dear brothers and sisters, that we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants the best for us. And Allah desires an intimate relationship with each and every one of us. But that begins not with the salah, not with the sawm, not with the zakah, nor the hajj. It doesn't begin with prayer or fasting or pilgrimage or charity. It begins with your very thoughts. So I ask you to search through your minds and most importantly, your hearts and ask yourself the question, what is it that you think about Allah? I encourage you to have good thoughts for if you have good thoughts of your Lord, then you will find Allah truly being as such. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that Allah says in the later part of the hadith, وَأَنَا مَعَهُ إِذَا دَعَانِي Allahu Akbar And I am with my slave when he calls upon me. This shows us, my dear brothers and sisters, that Allah is not only as we think of him, but Allah is always available to us as long as we call on him. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from among his servants who will take time to call upon Allah in the day and in the night. And we ask that Allah make us from among those who will only entertain good thoughts of Allah. We ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send his finest peace and blessings on the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabiyyina wa habibina wa shafiyyina Muhammad bin Abdullah. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik ashadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.